the stunt work on this was, was way, way more intense than anything I've done before. They were more kind of precise. There was more involved for these specific beats. I set out with a goal to make it like the best duels ever filmed. I'm the sword master, and I started in 1952 with Errol Flynn. That gives me 50 years of service in the film industry. Ah, oh, that was wrong. This is the best guy in the business. This is the legendary sword master. In, out, in, out. Bob Anderson understood acting with a sword. He said, just because it gets faster doesn't mean to say it's better. He said, you know that as an actor, it's the beats in between. We bought some original swords in London that were quite nice. The one, the actual, the one that we're using for Johnny Depp is a sword from 1750. You like pain? <laughs> Try wearing a corset. When I first read the script, I was like, oh, this is going to be easy. I'll, I'll sit in the back of carriages, I'll wear pretty dresses, I'll pout a bit, you know, it'll be fine. But actually, I've had a lot of stunt work to do, which has been rather challenging. I think I came up smiling, actually. It was fantastic. I was just so glad that I had hit the water and I was still alive and that a shark hadn't jumped out and eaten me. You know, it was great. We've had some really big days where we've had, you know, between 30 and 40 hairdressers in and two to 300 background working. It's an enormous circus. It's just kind of like an assembly line. Whatever chair is open, you either go to makeup or you go to hair. But we've had upwards of 50 makeup artists at times on the show. I arrived here with everything in triplicate. 900 pieces, of which 600 were copies of the first 300. When Johnny came into the fitting, once I put that hat on his head, he was sold. It's always great to have that layer of the character's clothing, you know, the skin. It helps you find your posture. You know, how does the character stand? Me, I'm dishonest. And a dishonest man, you can always trust to be dishonest. The script story called for groundbreaking special effects. So filmmakers turned to the legendary imaginations of industrial light and magic. You best start believing in ghost stories, Miss Turner. You're in one. I've worked with him a lot. They did Pearl Harbor with us. And we wanted something unique and different. A lot of effort went into designing what do the pirates look like when they're skeletons, because you don't want them to be just sort of polished white skeletons. The idea of doing skeleton pirates, every animator I know who heard about it was excited to work on this project. When we started, we weren't really sure what it would all have to look like. We're kind of establishing a new look, something that hasn't really been done before. You can see the clothing react and behave. It, it spins around, collides against the creature. We're kind of doing an anatomical job of trying to build the actor, what his bones would be like, what his muscles would be like. They are kind of alive yet decomposing. It's very important to have an understanding of anatomy. <laughs> The scenes that had the biggest appeal to me were the big skeleton battles. When the Dauntless battle begins, all the pirates are skeleton in that. So we shoot it live, and then we do reference passes with nobody there, where the uh, opposition has to fight air. It's like you've been learning a tango with someone for a month, and then they go, OK, now do it without your partner. And you just feel like an idiot. You have to be very focused to act with thin air. <laughs> It was so much fun, really. I mean, we're making pirate movies here. You know, it's like every boy's dream. This is something really special. We were on set, and we would just kind of giggle at how, you know, we get to do this. Every day you come into work and you think it can't get any sort of bigger, it is. It is immensely funny. I honestly believe that this film is for everybody. There's so much in this film. It's really amazing. We take the pirate movies to a new level, and that's our intentions. Here they come.